I got it. There's gonna be one of you guys are gonna say something. I'm pretty sure the UFC has lectured you guys and said, hey, don't get Sean canceled. Who's the boss? So, ask me honestly, guys. Did the, has the UFC ever talked to you guys and said, hey, don't get Sean canceled. Don't bring up shit that's gonna get him canceled. How can we get you canceled when you're the one who says all the shit you do? I only speak truth, my man. You look like a gay pirate. Calm down. Good, uh, good fight. Good win. A little. Bit. Uh, good fight. I don't know about good, but I won. Okay. <laughs> good fight, but barely. Hey, calm the fuck down, Canadian, bro. Yeah, that judge is terrible, you guys. When you heard it was a split decision, were you a little bit concerned? You've been on the on the, some. Yeah, no. I mean, I've been fucked once or twice in my life, guys. Uh, yeah, not a little bit, but you know, you leave shit in the hands of the judges, bro, and like you can't complain. You know. I mean, I'll bitch on, on Instagram for a couple of days, but you know, once I, once I go through my feelings and I, my ovaries stop hurting, I let it go. Dana was in here and he said he was surprised by how Paul I fought. He said he was gonna try and turn it into a street fight and then he didn't, probably couldn't adjust to your style. Were you a bit surprised with how Paul I fought? Yeah, you know, you can never tell how good somebody is until they fight somebody good. And I think that like, there's that moment where every time Costa's like, I'm gonna fight this man, he gets stuck in the face. He's like, oh, I don't think I wanna fight this man today. So I think a lot of it was just like, you know, you never know how good somebody is until they fight somebody good, and that's kind of what you see in there. I feel like over the past few fights, your style has become more and more effective, and you are actually getting better and better. Do you feel that way when you get in there? Yeah, you know, it was just kind of like, it was just awkward, man. It, it was like a weird fight. I mean, there was a moment where I even stopped, like, going in my fight stance. I just started walking forward, like, what the fuck are we doing here, dude? But that said, the Trump is here, man. Come on now. We got a convicted felon. Let's put on a fucking show for this man. Technically, are you one as well? Are you, are you a convicted felon? Uh, no, I pled to two misdemeanors, sir. Oh, okay. I could still own a gun and vote and apparently run for president. <laughs> Was it cool to perform in front of Trump? Oh, yeah, dude. Trump is a fucking man, you guys. I think we're all Trumpsters here besides a fucking Canadian. <laughs> yeah, no, he... I'm no horse in the race. Yeah, no, for sure. As long as not fucking Trudeau. Yeah, no, man. Dude, Trump is a fucking man. You guys ever meet Trump? You talk to him? You know, like, I, I, didn't, I thought I wouldn't like the guy, you know? I mean, he hooks up with models all the time, you know? He has a lot of money. Like, I'm a little jealous, but no, you meet him, and he's actually a solid fucking guy. Ask me how my woman's doing. Like, he gets to know you. Yeah, he's a good fucking dude, man. Good fucking dude. Sean, front right here. Uh, between rounds, the broadcast showed Paolo's corner telling him that he was up 2-1 heading into the, the fourth round. Like, what do you make of that? You know, he did land calf kicks, but for every, like, one calf kick he landed, I landed, like, five teeps. So it's like, you know, I mean, look at it. I mean, his stomach showed more damage than my calf did. Yeah, it, it was just a weird fucking fight, man. I don't know what was going on with Costa. It's like, I think he might have been a... Uh, Dude, your thing say coffee hating? What the fuck is going on here, bro? Just a coffee break. All right, man. What kind of fucking coffee you drinking, dude? This fucking guy, dude. I mean, you ran a laptop and you put coffee Satan sticker on, bro. Are you? Be, hey, be careful about this guy. You never fucking. Anyways, yeah, no, I don't know. I, I just think Costa wasn't. He just fucking maybe wanted to be friends. You know, I don't fucking know, man. Uh, talk to me about that last 10 seconds when you were just kind of flaring. I think it was just like fucking so frustrated at this point. You're just like, does it really matter? Like, does it really fucking matter what I do? Like, you're just going to back up. More frustration, but that was a pretty dope little fucking karate kick, right? Who would have thought, man? I must have some fucking Asian in me. Uh, you said you obviously wanted the title. Dana was in here saying they're still trying to book that fight between Drikas and Israel. I'm going to wait. I fucking paid my fucking dues, man. I paid my dues. I got fucking robbed in dirty fucking Canada. No offense, fucking Airbuds, man. You, know, you have an iPhone. I'm not going to judge you. But <laughs> but I got robbed there, dude. We all know I got fucking robbed. At least Drikas doesn't back up. So I'm going to sit my fucking ass in the gym, and I'm going to be a team player, and I'm going to fucking wait. And I'm going to fucking wait until they say, Sean, go beat this man. What kind of phone do you have? I got a fucking Android, dude, because I fucking love freedom in America. You probably, like, your fucking Apple, dude, does it come with a pink dildo when you get it or what? No, mine didn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you one. Um, you had a lot to say about the gloves before the fight. You just fought 25 minutes live action with them. Any d change in opinion? No, I mean, at the end of the day, like, they're fucking gloves. You know, I mean... I think I'm just an angry fuck, and I'll find any excuse to be mad. Yeah, those gloves fucking suck, you know? But yeah, no, they're fine. They're fine. I don't really know the purpose of them, but yeah, they're fine. How long would you be willing to wait for a title shot? Uh, as long as it takes, man. As long as it takes, you know? I, you know, as long as it takes. I, w I want the gold, dude. I want the gold. When you're fighting these top 10 motherfuckers, dude, you're only one slip and dodge away from being knocked out. 
I paid my penance. I did what we did. I went and fought Costa. I didn't want to. I did it. Give me the fucking title shot. I beat Izzy, and that motherfucker gets a title shot. You know, he's, he's not jerking off his dog. Sorry, Izzy. I love you. I like you, Izzy. He got really mad, though, dude. After the fight, he came up to me, and he was like, I love my dog. I would never jerk him. I'm like, Izzy, I'm fucking joking, dude. I don't think you fuck your dog, you fucking retard. <laughs> you say we try to get you canceled. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you can't say retarding. Well, dude, I might be a little retarded, you guys. Come on, let's call him the, it's a pot calling kettle black. Did you, you dropped him with that head kick at the end, right? It wasn't a slip? Uh, I, I, think it was a, I think I dropped him, yeah. The only time I've ever thrown a fucking head kick, you know? I should start doing that more. Yeah, maybe consider Come it. on, coaches, yell a head kick more. Okay, thanks, Sean. Yeah, sweet. Hey, Sean. Um, you said that you weren't necessarily thrilled with this performance. Is there any concern about the, the Whitaker versus Chimaya fight coming up? I'll wait. I mean, fight? again, if that's what the UFC wants, I'll fucking wait, you know? The problem with these fucking cunts, bro, besides Whitaker, they, they get a fight and they take like eight months off. Like, what the fuck? What are you guys doing this eight months? What are you guys doing for eight months? Just say yes to the fight. Go fucking fight. I don't understand why these assholes take so much time off. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Sean, right over here. There was a lot of risk and reward for you in this fight. What were some of the things that you took into consideration when the name Paulo Costa was brought to you, considering where you were at? You could have waited for a rematch, stuff like that. Yeah, you know, again, I could have waited, but then it would have been like, oh, well, Sean's waiting, Sean's doing this. So I said, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna fight this little Mexican, big Mexican. Or is he, you know, sorry, Brazilian. I'm gonna go fight the fucking Brazilian. The, the fucking flag and the, and the music threw me off. But I'm gonna go fight him and, you know, I'm gonna beat him and then, I'll get my title shot, you know. At the end of the day, guys, I want that fucking gold belt, but I want money. And you get way more money when you got a fucking belt. So let's go fucking get that belt, get that money. And if, when the Drikas and Izzy fight does happen, what are your predictions? How do you think that fight goes? You know, man, I, I never want to be the guy, like, and I, I'm sounding like a little bitch when I say this. I won, I think I won, but if I didn't get that cut, I mean, I would have walked through them. I wasn't getting hit till the cut. You know, I could not see out of my left eye. Literally fucking blind out of my left eye. So, it's tough, man. It's, it's tough. If Izzy uses his eyes, I don't think Dragus is that good. I just got fucking cut. But, you know, maybe, maybe he cuts fucking Izzy. You know, maybe who knows these things. Who knows? If I knew, I'd be rich. And last question from me. I know this week you were showing a lot of appreciation to your cornerman, Danny D1 Davis. What can you tell me about the way that he's influenced you throughout your career? No, it's not even Danny, man. It's, it's Eric. It's everybody. We had Johnny, the Bellator champion in, in town, helping me out. Man, we got so many fucking savages in the gym. Uh, we have one of the hardest gyms, dude. And, and like, <clears throat> you guys don't understand, like, football players, what does a football player do to practice? They go walk through plays. What does a ba basketball player do? They go fucking shoot hoops. What do we do to train? We try to fucking kill each other. Every time me and Johnny spar, one of us is left fucking bloody. So it's like, I have so much appreciation for Danny, for Eric, for Chris Curtis, for all these guys, man. We sacrifice so much for one another that like, you'll never understand what it's like. Thank you. I like you, bro. You, what's your name, dude? Dylan Napoleon, Cage Side Press. I yeah. Thank you for the shout out the other day. Bro, let's go, bro. You're, you're, you're like on the third row now, man. You're, you got, you know. Smart. Cowboy, fucking cowboy's catching up to you, though. Be careful. He, he's gunning for you, bro, with his man bracelet. <laughs> it's my first UFC event, so I appreciate it. No shit, bro. Let's go, man. I wish you the best. Thank you, man. Oh, is that it? All right, guys. Well, you all have a good one. Uh, yeah. Adios. Oh.